So you have a Creality K1 and you want to use the Devices tab inside of Orca Slicer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Let's go ahead and get started. One thing that we need in order to get this started is you're going to need the IP address of your printer. You can find this under the Settings and then the Network tab. Uh, and if you're connected to Wi-Fi, the IP address will be shown below that. Once you have the IP address, you'll come back into Orca Slicer and that's where this tutorial is going to begin. You've got your IP address. Let's go ahead and get started. So from this tab over here, you see the Creality K1 is selected. We want to scroll over here to the section here that says Connection and just tab this button. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this uh, Local Printer. You know, it doesn't really matter and we're going to put in your IP address here. So once you have your IP address typed in, we're just gonna click the Browse button here, Allow Access, and then once you click Browse Access, you can honestly tab out of this, just hit OK. We just really want this Test button to show up. So now that we have the Test button, we can click that. It may give an error here, a 404 error, that's perfectly fine. And we're just gonna leave the rest blank here and click OK. Now, when I navigate over to the Devices tab, you can see I have Creality K1 already in here. You see I have something printing already. No latency, just it's essentially making the browser UI inside of Orca Slicer. It's still not completely perfect. Uh, I am still trying to figure out a way that I can use the print function so I can send prints directly to here. Uh, but let me show you what you would do in the meantime. Before we keep going, if you could just take a second to hit that subscribe button and the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Cool. So I've got something imported. Also, if you already have a way to use this print functionality, I would love to know how to do that. So uh, send that my way and I'll make a video and show it to everyone. Uh, but in the meantime, let's say this is it. I'm going to slice the plate. Uh, so if I use the print, you can see it's going to try to upload it. This unfortunately does not work right now. So what I do is I'll export the file. Just save this in downloads. Doesn't really matter. And then I go over to the devices tab. I click the import button here and then just upload it. Once it's uploaded, I can select the model and then click start printing. That's, a, that's actually how I started this model that's printing right now. So uh, it definitely does work. So this is a little bit of a hacky way, but it's enough to get you going and hopefully it'll be uh, smoothed out in future updates. Uh, and if something else comes available, I'll make sure to make a video about it. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. We'll see you next time.